But yeah, guys, these are fantastic, like anxiety slash relaxation aids. I, I can't recommend them enough. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little first impressions review of Fenibit and of Kickamillin. Now, I recently picked up some more nootropics. I actually ran out of like almost everything I had a while ago. It's been a while since I've had Fenibit. Fenibit before, was one of my favorites anti-anxiety aids for me personally. It was something that I could essentially lean on whenever I had really bad anxiety and it would work every single time. It's basically like a variation of GABA. I think it should be somewhat similar to gabapentin because it's like um, gabapentin has just basically a pentin ring and uh, Fenibit has just a phenyl ring. So it's like very, very similar. Um, if you guys don't know, Fenibit is a drug in uh, Russia and I think in Australia, I think. So uh, over here, it's like kind of seen as like a gray area supplement so it's just not it's not regulated you can get as much as you want things like that picamillin is also i think it's like niacin mixed with gaba as well so it kind of has a similar mechanism mechanism of action to other gaba types of drugs or supplements things like that gaba is sold over the counter and it's natural um and then so when you mix it with something like niacin to me it just seems like very very safe i, I don't know but anyways guys so i have probably some more research to do with these things but the problem that i have is that i can't take them like constantly like all the time i have to kind of take my time with testing it and like these uh supplements also are not really meant to be taken every single day from my understanding especially fenibits and i've had tons of people come on my fenibit videos just like saying how it just completely wrecked their life and how it completely is addicting and all these other things but for me I've, you know, I've never really had a pull to take Finibit every day. And the same with um, Picamillin. I never get the feeling like I want to take it every day. But um, at the same time, I do find that it's very effective when necessary. So both times I took the supplements, I started out with two pills and I did get them from Cosmic Nootropics. So there's a lot of different places you can get them, but Cosmic Nootropics is some place that I trust, uh, they get a lot of stuff that looks like it's literally like it's literally prescriptions from Russia or other places. When I ordered, it came from Russia. So these seem like they're like the pharmaceutical grade Russian supplements that I guess they just sell to the U.S. because there's no regulation on them. You know what I mean? But I find that these drugs are very, very, very nice, like mild and just a lot safer, a lot healthier than the stuff that we have in the U.S. Um, the stuff that they have, with stuff we have in the U.S., it's always like super strong, or it's mixed with like you know uh, chlorine or fluorine, like almost every time. You know, for example, like we don't have Finibit here, right? But we have Baclofen which is essentially Finibit with a chlorine ring on it or a chlorine attachment to it. And so it's just like, that sounds like the US. We put some crazy shit on it that we don't need. But anyway, so as far as the effects on these, I, both times I took them, I kind of forgot about it. I took like two pills of each one. I think it was, I think most people should start out with one, especially because, you know, they're pretty strong. And both times, like I had a lot of stuff to do as well. So it was kind of like dumb for me to take it. I was just like, I'm going to try it out. You know, I've had a lot of caffeine today. I should be like fine. And both times I'm like literally falling asleep. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? You know what I mean? So I actually felt like the Picamillin was more tiring and relaxing than the Fenibit this time around, which I remember it kind of being the opposite before. Um, Fenibit, uh, and they both pretty much like knocked me out or like I was trying to do stuff and I was just like almost nodding out because I was so tired and I didn't understand why. I'm like, why am I tired? You know what I mean? I don't get it. Like that I get not, not get enough sleep and this this and that so um yeah so i actually felt like the picamillin was a little bit stronger this time around uh, yeah guys these are fantastic like anxiety slash relaxation aids i i can't recommend them enough uh for somebody who has these kinds of issues um i find that they are they're just a lot more strong than other things like other over-the-counter natural things you know what i mean so you know what i mean so I don't know, I have a couple of natural like relaxation aids and things like that, but I have to kind of deep dive into which ones work and how like effective they are. But these ones felt like a lot, a lot more like anxiety relief or a lot more tiring, which is kind of what you're going for with anxiety relief. You kind of want to be knocked out to a certain extent. So if, you know, the anxiety is really bad, it kind of will balance it out and you could, you know, continue doing what you're doing. So, um, but yeah, guys, I feel like oh, as far as the half-life goes, Finibit is way stronger. I think it's like 
I want to say like nine hours or something for the Half-Life versus Pick a Melon's like 30, I think it's like 60 minutes to an hour. <laughs> 60 minutes. I think it's like 60 to 90 minutes. So uh, if you wanted something that's going to be out of your system, you should go with Pick a Melon. If you want something that's going to be like, um, going to last all day, I would go with Fenibit. And like for me personally, when it comes to anxiety relief, I like something that's more long lasting versus more strong right off the bat. That's pretty much my first impression, guys. Both of them have been really strong. Both of them worked and do kind of did what you want them to do. Both of them kind of did what you wanted them to do. So uh, I will kind of uh, make an update video later on when I have a more pinned down opinion of them. But as far as right now, they're they're awesome. They're exactly what you expect. They're stronger than they're stronger than natural things that we have right now. Really was impressed by these. Uh, they're very very nice, very premium. Again, they're 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 not things that you should be taking every day. So. Um, there's, that's why, that's why I'm not going to like test them even more than right now. But, um, yesterday I, so I tried Fenibit two pills and then I tried, um, pick a million, two pills, both of them super strong. I should have only like two pills. If you're going to sleep or you have massive anxiety, other than that, I would just take one cause it, it's just like insanely strong. So then I took one uh, pill of Fenibit yesterday and it just knocked me out. Like kind of, I was already tired. You know, I wanted to go to sleep a little bit early. It was nice. And then today I took like one pill of pick a million, but I gotta be really careful to not um, take them every day. That like, I've been switching off, but I've been taking them totally like every day. And so for me personally, I just, I get no side effects when I, you know, give it a little bit of a break, like a few days in between. And uh, I don't, haven't really felt like the pull of like addiction to Finibit. I don't, I wouldn't want to. It doesn't really do anything for me as far as like me wanting it anyway. So um, I'll probably do another updated video in like a couple weeks about like, you know, Probably, probably an individual review at this time, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a general overview of my thoughts on both of them here. So yeah, they're really good. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys take Finibit anymore? Do you guys take Picamillan? Uh, have you ever heard of them? Do they sound crazy? I'll be very interested to see. Uh, do you have any other places that you get Finibit? Because I remember there were, at some point there was like, um, it was kind of hard to find Finibit. And like, I, I got my Finibit from like Zach Attack supplements and like the powder and like that was gone. And then I used to get like F Finibit from like this DMAA type website. If you look at my old videos, you can see which website that was. Hopefully they still have it. F Finibit is like a little bit stronger than fin the normal Finibit. And uh, real quick, the people say that Finibit can like be awakening for you uh, and has like a mild dopamine boost. I don't really get that at all. Again, I take it under extreme anxiety to where it's like if I got any sort of like bad simulation, it would have been all bad and I could eat on Finibit. That's how kind of like how I used to treat it. I'm going to kind of see what my relationship is with it now. So Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate it so, so much. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. I hope you guys are the best. Have a great day out here. Hopefully, we have a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.